Hello guys, welcome back to Video Pop Vlogger's channel. Recently, there has been a very popular type of video called a loop video on social medias. These videos can make you unknowingly keep watching them. In today's tutorial, we will show you how to make this type of loop video. If you are interested in this one, keep watching the video. First of all, the principle of loop videos is that the beginning and the end of the video are the same frame. Combined with the playback mechanism of short video platforms, it makes the audience unknowingly play it over and over again. Well, directly shooting a video with the same beginning and end is quite difficult, but we can use post-production software to achieve this effect. And here, we will provide two methods. First, we need to prepare a piece of footage. It is best to use a fixed camera shot taken with a tripod. Now, let's open Video Vlogger and create a new project. Import the footage into the media library and drag it to the video track. Make sure it fits to a screen. Drag the playhead and you will see a similar clip showing the transition from day to light. Here, we need to trim the clip and keep only about 7 seconds of most noticeable sky changes. Use a split tool to remove the excess parts. Then, use copy and paste to duplicate the footage on the video track to the overlay track. Next, drag the material on the overlay track backward to align it with the beginning and end of the video track. Next, use a ripple edit to extend the material forward by about 1 second. Then, trim off the excess part at the back and delete it. Now, click on the material on the overlay track and find Fade and Move. Check Fade In and adjust the duration to the maximum. This way, you can create a loop video with a seamless transition. Now, let's work on the audio. Just like the video, we trim the audio to the same length as the video. Then, create a new audio track. And use copy and paste to duplicate the audio to the new track. Again, drag the new audio backward to align it with the original beginning and end. Use ripple edit to extend the audio by about one second. Then, trim off the unwanted parts. Now we will use Split to cut the audio from the above clip to the same length. Select the above audio, enter the audio editor, and add a fade out. Click Apply and return to the main interface. Then, select the lower audio and add a fade in. This way, a loop video is complete. The second method is relatively simple and involves using the reverse play function. This method is suitable for sync with irregular movements, such as tree branch swaying or shaking lanterns. However, it may look strange when applied to moving cars or walking people. After entering video pop logger, let's import the footage. Put the footage into the video track and split it to create a 5 second clip. Then, use copy and paste to duplicate it to the end of the footage. In the inspector, find the reverse play option and check it. This way, you will get a loop video. Well, this is all for today's video. 
And if you want to know more about other intrigues or what has been going on with Vidipop Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.